that's better. Leaf versus coil. I'm gonna give my personal opinion, and then we're gonna follow up with some of the great comments that was made. First up, coil springs. Hang on a second. There we go, there's one now. Right up, coil springs. High fatigue rate, soaks up the bumps better on the road, and provides better articulation in extreme off-road conditions. Side load. If your pen hard rod bushes are a little bit worn or your four link arms bushes are a little bit worn, you can get a lot more of this. And when you're towing that big van up the road, that sway, it can get a little bit daunting. So that's one of the uh, disadvantages of a coil spring in my opinion. Whew. Hey, can somebody, uh, somebody take this off me please? Here you go, take that. Oh, thanks, that was getting heavy. So, now leaf springs. God, I'm good. Okay, leaf springs. Greater reliability and longevity. It does, doesn't stress as much as a coil spring. Can get you out of trouble. Like if you break a leaf spring in, in the Simpson, you can basically fix that thing with a piece of hardwood and a lump of fencing wire. Less stress on this spring off-road. Better towing stability. You get less whip with a leaf spring rear end. So, you know, in my opinion, for a big caravan, leaf spring's far better to tow with. The leaf spring is more efficient at dispersing the load over the chassis. It's got two pickup points. Um, one of the other problems, well, it's not really a problem, but it can be, is, is possible diff wrap with the amount of torque that some of these new cars are putting out. The diff does try to roll over and the leaf spring can sometimes have trouble controlling that diff wrap. But apart from that, these are a brilliant piece of kit. So in conclusion, my personal opinion is that leaf springs are far better at towing on and off-road. They'll just keep their vehicle a little bit straighter and more stability. Whereas a coil spring, off-road will give you more articulation and on-road will soak up the bumps a little better and just give you that smoother ride. Thanks everybody for the fantastic comments. Loved them. Scott Abdi, that little Hilux man, it has got some serious flex in it for a leaf sprung suspension. And man, I have seen rope with less twist in it than that thing, mate. Well done. Beery Biz, I think that's how you say your name, brother, but hey, leaf springs party harder. Once again, thanks everyone for getting involved in the leaf versus coil spring. Some great comments, as I stated earlier, and it was a lot of fun doing it and putting this together. So. These, once again, these are just my opinions and everybody's is varied, which is the beauty of it. So whatever works for you, works for you. But thanks for everyone for getting involved and we'll see you out in the tracks.